We're working with editing points and the modify panel, specifically the crop feature to create this awesome layered decal where the letters fill a shape. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. You found your way to Silhouette Success and I do hope that you're going to join our little community. We would absolutely love to have you. Today's supply list is super simple. If you would like to follow along, I just have two colors of vinyl, some transfer tape, some parchment paper. I have my cup cradle and scraper. The cup cradle is optional, but it is super handy. I'll put a link to that in the description below. And of course, I'll be cutting this all out on the Cameo 5 today. Let's go ahead and grab our design. Head up to File and down to Merge. And I'm using this Coffee Bean Silhouette. It is from Creative Fabrica, and I will set a link in the description below. It does come ungrouped so we can select the pieces, right click and group. And I'm going to go ahead and enter eight for the height. And it seems like it has disappeared, but it's just down to the bottom a little bit. We can click center to page and that will bring it right back for us. For this design, I want the coffee bean tipped on its side a bit. That looks good. I'm going to use the words bean juice to fill the shape. Now we can set bean on top and juice down to the bottom and we're going to get started right after we duplicate our coffee bean. We can set that to the side, but since we're working with the modify panel, we want to have an exact copy. This is set at the same size and it's rotated to the same degree and that will be helpful if anything goes wrong with the design. Now let's scale bean so that it covers almost the entire width of the top of the bean here. Now I'm going to squish it down just a little bit so that the letters fit better in there. Then we can right click and ungroup the letters so that we can adjust them individually. I'm going to bring my B down and I'm going to go ahead and stretch my E so that it is taller. Same thing with the A. Now, to make this as easy as possible on yourself, you want some of the letter outside of the shape, but not all of it. We're going to adjust the rest of it with editing points. Now, this N is still kind of tall, so let's squish this down a little bit more. I think that will be okay. Now, this is looking all kinds of crazy, but don't worry, we are going to fix this. Let's double click on our B to bring up the editing points and zoom in on it. You're going to want to grab the editing points and drag it to the outside of the shape. Now, you'll notice here that this curve is still showing. You can click anywhere on that line, create an editing point and drag that out. If you notice that your letters are getting a little bit distorted when you move the editing points around, you're going to grab these blue nodes and adjust them as well. Now we are going to move on to the E. Double click for the editing points and start dragging them down. And this one up at the top, we can pull up. The top of the A is fine. And now for the N, let's pull this up. And we wanna pull this out so that the whole side of the bean is covered. Click this icon here to fit everything back to the window so we can see it better. Now we need to ungroup our coffee bean because we want to select just the top and the letters in the word bean. So you can hold down your shift key and click on each of those. Open up the modify panel and crop. Let's go on to juice. We're going to resize it so that it covers most of the width. We can ungroup and squish and stretch each letter individually now. The J is a little bit problematic because the shape of the J and the shape of the bottom of the coffee bean, they kind of clash a little bit, but it'll work out in the end. 
And now we can stretch this eye all the way past the edge and we won't have to work on that letter at all with the editing points. We can crop it just like that. Now let's start with the editing points on the bottom letters. Double click and zoom in. We know we need to pull this one straight up. Now this time we're going to select the bottom of the bean and all of the letters. Open up the modify panel again and crop. Now because we made a copy of the bean, we can use that to create a double layer decal that'll fit right behind it. Or we can duplicate the bean again and use this one to make any further adjustments we need. The J could use a little bit of work, but I think I'm just going to leave it as is. Now let's go through, select all of our letters, group those together. We're going to select the letters and the bean behind it and group those together because I want to scale this down so that it will fit on the side of a coffee cup. I found that right around three inches works well. We can duplicate this because I want this on both sides of my coffee cup. We can ungroup them. We can set one layer down at the bottom, the other layer up at the top, and head over to the send panel. All of the cut lines are lit up in red. I have matte vinyl selected for my material. I'll be cutting this with the auto blade. I do like to bump my blade up to a two when I'm cutting my vinyl. Now we can just get the material loaded onto the mat and send this through. 